Yo, what's up guys, Jordan here. Now, this is a video that I never thought I would make again, but due to the recent influx and a lot of players actually coming back to Battlefield 5 due to the the failure that is 2042, uh, I thought I'd make a updated settings guide for the game. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this as short and sweet as possible, uh, just to not waste as much time as possible, but also try to explain a few things. So, first of all, we'll start with uh, the most important stuff, which is controls. Uh, invert turn this off. My sense at the moment is 80-72. I believe this is a nice balance between mid to low, though you can adjust as to how you feel, but I feel like this is a good starting point for most players that I've spoken to that have used it. At least in terms of the hip fire aim aiming, you could probably turn this down a notch or two, maybe to 64, and see how that feels. Most of this is a personal preference, though I believe, I believe most of this is on default. And the vehicle stuff I haven't touched because I don't play vehicles that often. Uh, now for my soldier buttons, I'm just going to go quickly go through this and you can pause the video at any point if you want to uh, have a closer look. Um, but I use jump L2 and crouch on R3 with my uh, aiming and firing on L1 and R1. And my melee is on the touchpad. Uh, if you see anything else in this, feel free to, like I said, pause the video. Uh, I use lean as L3, but most of that is uh, self-explanatory stuff. Uh, for advanced, I use uniform soldier aiming on. This is something that I would 100% recommend. It makes your aim a lot more consistent, and it just overall makes it a lot easier to aim when aiming down sight. Coefficient, I would run this at 177 or 178. I don't know what the actual number is. Uh, you can tr try between, I believe, 177 uh, zero, and then the, I think the other number is 121. I don't 100% know what this is. There's videos out there on this, but I'm not the perfect person to explain this. But I can maybe link a couple videos down in the description if I remember on how to explain this. Uh, but the three numbers I use are 0, 177, and 121. And I use the same for the vehicle stuff, and then this is all default. Uh, I would leave all these at 100% if you're using uniform soul jamming it just makes it more consistent and uh, a lot better feeling uh, your soldier aim ratio i would personally if you're not if you want this to be exactly the same as your left right as the vertical as your up down i'd put this on 100 uh, if not if that's too fast for you i would recommend putting this the same as your ads it's worked uh, well for me and it's uh, a value that i've signed so whatever your ads is i'd recommend putting this as that unless your ADS goes below 50%. And my dead zones are 0, 0 on the left stick. Uh, axial, keep on 0. Center, have this as low as possible before you get stick drift. And that is the same for the right stick. Uh, axial, always put on 0. And then center, keep this as low as possible until you get stick drift. That's the amount of uh, input you need to push into your stick before it activates. And then the trigger stuff, I have on as low as possible. Uh, gameplay, most of this is default except I get rid of awards and critical messages and show uses data so it doesn't pop up on screen and and uh, actually cover your, your screen. Crosshair, you can pause if you want the same colors, same for hit markers. And the minimap, this is something that's very important. I'd put your texture opacity on 50, your rotate with you on, and your minimap size is 133. It makes your minimap a whole lot bigger as long as with your zoom radius. And you can see more of what's around you in terms of where your teammates are dying, if enemies are spotted, and so on and so on. It gives you a lot more awareness of the map as well. And then the opacity stuff, which is you know how much visible like the icons and stuff are in, in ADS. You can pause this if you wish. Camera shake as low as possible. All this is default. Aim assist, I have on 100%. I change this constantly, but 100 recommended. I recommend zoom snap on zero. This can take a while to get used to, but go down in increments to get to that. It makes your aim a whole lot more consistent in terms of centering and just relying on your own actual aim rather than the game doing it for you. And then the network stuff is personal preference, but I have those hidden. Uh, now audio. Uh, I have mass volume on 100% and then I adjust my headset because I have a headset DAC. If you don't have something where you can adjust this, I'd lower this until it's personal. Uh, if it's too loud or quiet. Personally, I run surround headphones. I'd, other than that, I would recommend maybe 3D headphones, that or just run auto headphones. Anything else is really not worth it. If you want everything to be loud and easy to hear, war tapes, but literally everything is loud as shit. So uh, surround headphones is what I'd recommend. 
and then VoIP and stuff like that is all personal preference. And lastly, video. Brightness I have on 45% because generally I do have a brighter monitor. This is something that I would adjust, you know, it depends on your room, how bright it is and how bright your monitor is, but 50% is normally fine, but you can adjust it from there. Uh, FOV, I have a max. If this is too high for you, I'd recommend going somewhere, in my personal opinion, between 89 and the maximum, and whatever suits you the best. It'll it'll keep your recoil while also making you feel like you're moving fast, while keeping your visibility as well. Uh, ADS Field of View, have this on always. I recommend having this always on. And when you have this off, it resets to the default field of view. Um, I'll try to put a clip in the video, but when you have this on, it keeps your FOV consistent, where is if you have it off, it resets when you ADS to your FOV to default 55, uh, which isn't the greatest for consistency in aim, so recommend keeping this on. Uh, the depth of field effects, turn this off, and then all the extra graphical stuff, turn off, and then if you want to do not do custom colors on teammates and stuff, you can do the color blinds, or you can literally just do whatever you want in colors, but I keep this as default. Um, if you have any questions about these, I try to keep it as short as possible, so I'm not wasting your time. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, in regards to PC, graphics, I run on all low and VSync off, uh, just so it doesn't harm your system like that. But if you have any more questions about PC, also let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to help as best as possible. But feel free to leave a like, subscribe. I'll have a few more console videos coming out in terms of kill streaks and gameplays. So subscribe for that. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video or stream. Peace.